Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day where we finally finish the remodel on the haunted house, okay? In today's episode, we're gonna see the floor go down, we're gonna see the countertops go in, we're gonna see the carpet go in, appliances, vanities, all the plumbing, I mean, everything is gonna get done. The last thing you guys saw was some tile work and some painting. Today, we are absolutely finishing it completely. Now, I'll tell you right now that myself and Jake, we're not gonna be overly involved in this, in this video because we gotta go start packing up the house and get the shop ready to go and get the animals ready to go. Today is moving week. Well, this, this week is moving week. So so while Papa Beefcake and the Beefcake crew are here finishing the house, we are going to be going to my house and getting everything packed up and ready to go. So with that being said, the Beefcake construction crew are going to go in there, get all the things done, and we're going to show back up. And on moving day, it should be completely done, and we'll give you guys a full tour. And uh, we'll be ready to move in, so you guys stay tuned.
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final tour before and after. You guys saw a bunch of them, but I'm gonna give you guys a full walkthrough. And this is the fully renovated house. If you guys have been watching this at the beginning, I don't know how many episodes, seven, eight, nine, 10? Close yeah. to that, 10? We got her done. In six weeks, we got this house done. So, if you guys remember, this was wide open. Remember, we framed this in, we built the laundry room. Remember, that was when the inspector came in and he's like, you can't add rooms. I said, I'm not adding rooms. Remember I was we fixing the, the sub floor? We the floor remember right? the fireplace? Welcome to the party, that's what he said. Yeah, he he, he, he floor, told right? me I couldn't have a party. So remember the fireplace was here? So we took the fireplace out, we added this wall. So the laundry room turned out freaking awesome. So you got this door here, tons of extra space here. We've just got the dog kennels here, temporary. And uh, we've got washer, dryer. I mean, the, this one was from the missile silo. And then this, yeah, you can see that one's, actually both of them from the missile silo, I think, right? Uh, one of them one of, from, from the hunting from cabin? The ranch cabin yeah. No, it was the hunting cabin, the one we oh. built. I bought a vanity for cooking, yeah. and mice got in it, yeah. and then we broke it. So it is it is cracked, but listen, gap filler, you figured it out. So anyways, so I, like we repurposed that, and then this thing was like 80 bucks at Menards, top. And then those were just base cabinets that we painted, uh, we as in pop beefcake, and then put that railing up there. So um, this turned out good, same thing, custom shelves. If you get hungry later, you got that. My favorite honey flavor. Yeah, I know. You're ready to rock and roll, Bancho. So this is the drop zone laundry room. Remember there was the closet right here. Blew that out because that wasn't code. You walk through here. Remember the load-bearing wall. Wah-bam, folks. No more wall. It's load-bearing. Okay, put a beam up there. So look at this kitchen, Bancho. Under counter lighting. Nice. We've got backsplash on yeah, there. Yeah. You know, custom cabinets, yeah. soft close cabinets. She look at that. So this turned out good. We got all the appliances. We ended up doing the island right here. And I thought it turned out good. You got a place to keep your feet warm. Uh, tons and tons of storage. We got a refrigerator that fits, cooktop, the microwave. I mean, it's we're moved in, boys. Like, look, look what we we're dangling. Full blown dangling, okay? You need some snacks. That's a snack. We got toaster, ready to rock and roll. Some cuties if you're feeling frisky. Uh, anyways, dishwasher loaded, already working, ready to go. You use that a lot? Absolutely. I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. washing dishes by here. Yeah. No, no, no. So remember there was a load bearing wall and there was just an entrance right here. So we blew that out. And now the dining table feels like it's one part, which I feel like makes it feel bigger, way bigger. Oh, yeah. So then through here, remember the toilet that looked like a bomb went off. So that was back through this. And this was all that tile. It was like little square tile, ripped it all off, laughing plaster, bam. And we got vanity, a toilet that doesn't look like somebody pooped in it. And we just put a shower insert here, which seemed a lot cheaper and easier with a tub on it. Um, but this was like the scary bathroom. Everybody was really scared. And this room back here, really? Yo. Who, who, where are you headed, Lance? Alaska. Really? Yeah. So this is just storage for now. Uh, remember, this is a five bedroom house. And so we just threw some extra shelving, Peloton, stuff like that. Um, but remember, this was the ceiling that was all messed up. So we redid all the drywall, redid the lights, redid all every closet's new. I mean, it's all new, folks. The whole thing. This, hey, how's it going? It got a little cold outside. Oh, it got cold outside. That's okay. And this is Brooklyn's playroom for now. Another bedroom. Um, like I said, they're all universal. So we end up putting playroom over there. We got the office. We got you know new ceiling fans. This was new ceiling too, wasn't it, Jake? Yes. I think we this. Did every ceiling. Every ceiling except for like the main. This that one we didn't. Was fine. And the master we didn't. You didn't take a bunch of glitter and throw it up. You know, I we thought about it. I thought about it. Yeah, we painted everything. I thought about doing the glitter strat. Decided against it, but we have a bed here temporarily just because we need a place to put it. You know, we're only gonna be here for a few weeks and then everything else will get moved. But you know, all new closet doors that are all painted, fresh knobs. Yeah. And this is my temporary editing filming studio in here. I really like it in here. All the windows is actually kind of nice. Um, it feels bigger and more open than my last office. Then in here, this is Brooklyn's bedroom. So we've got a crib. It was a small room and there was minimal windows. So it made it easy because you have to black them out. Uh, that way she thinks it's dark outside when she has to go to bed early and then here wah bam we've got the living room so this thing hey how you doing look who made it they're hanging out so the living room we didn't change a lot we added some can lights obviously paint trim baseboard floor um but we left that just like it is i think it looks pretty good actually with the tv it looks better than i thought i thought it looked kind of weird 
And then we've got a sectional here. We've got the recliner. This is all old furniture from the old house. Like we never bought anything. There's no jelly here anymore. This was why was the jelly made. You're standing right on it. You were licking it right down there. I licked right here. I licked that jelly. Yeah. That jelly was I mean, right here. This floor makes this whole house look different. That, 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 that carpet, carpet was wild. Yeah. That carpet was not good yeah, at all. So. so we got nice LVP flooring in here throughout. And then the master through here, world's largest master bedroom, by the way, where you got an entire you know chair, a big king bed, and then we got the bathroom and then a closet. So we put in these uh, barn doors, sliding barn doors. So huge custom closet. Pop Beefcake went crazy. Built all these shelves. It looks amazing. Um, we already got curtains up. We got a new ceiling fan. And then in here, we've got the tile. We've got a vanity. Yeah, I was going. Uh, lights. We got you know, more trim. And then we did a tile shower in here, as you guys saw, which I think turns out really, really good. If you're going to put any money into your house, I suggest kitchen, master bathroom. Those are two things that go really, really far with uh, resale value. So we ended up putting all the tile in here, which I think looks super nice. We got a pooper, of course, towel hanger. I mean, all the little stuff. And then there's just a barn door that shuts it. Because we were going to get real barn doors. And I, what was it to get all three? Like four like, grand, three like grand. It was like three grand for, it was like a Gia door. And I was like, no. So we got slab doors. Oh yeah, the hardware was a bunch. So we got slab doors, painted them white. And I think the white actually looks really good. I was kind of nervous about the white, but it actually turns out pretty good. So house looks good. I'll take you guys downstairs because we did do some work to there. We ended up painting all this. This was all full of cobwebs. It's all freshly painted. We did fix the stairs, which you probably should have. We got to cut corners somewhere though, boys. And then, uh, oh, actually I can't show you guys down there. There's secrets. Forgot about all the secrets, Banjo. All right, I can show you guys down here, but just can't show you everything, okay? So just, you just gotta, just give me a second. All right, this is the utility room we built. They don't put a light switch in here, or no? Yeah, you can pull Oh, there's a draw. Switch. Oh shoot, what I just step on? Pull that cord. Hey, how's oh, it going? That is a tripping hat. I just sir. fell. Yeah, I fell in there. Yeah. Rip. Now it's code. We're good. We're good. We're good. So this is the utility room. Remember, we got all new this, all new pecs. That's a water softener, yep. hot water heater, the uh, pump boost thing, all the HVAC, new, yeah, new filter. So this is our entire, we, remember we framed this in, brand new utility room, and now this room is less all scary. No more dirt, the walls you can actually, they're still caving in, but they're there. But it's all fresh new pecs, all fresh new electrical. Everything is up to code. We passed code, we passed inspection, boys. So we're good to go. Everything got passed and we are set to claim occupancy. Well, I hope so, because we already live here. Alrighty, well, we are headed back up, ladies and gentlemen. That is the tour. You guys got all the before and afters. Thanks for joining us on this journey. It was a hell of a journey, six week long journey. Uh, everyone worked their butt off. Pop Beefcake worked extremely hard, put a ton of time, ton of hours into it, and it came together just in time. We moved out before the April 1st deadline. So I said, we're planning to be here for a couple weeks and then we'll move some of this stuff down the hill and we will be set and ready to rock and roll. So stay tuned because we've got new beef cake construction projects coming up very soon, like unlimited amounts of them, okay? The new property, starting from scratch, we need ponds, we need roads, we need parking lots, we need culverts, we need French drains, we need retaining walls. It's gonna be an entire year at least worth of uh, basically building stuff on this property for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.